The modern civil rights era of Martin Luther King is of vital importance, not just in history, but for today, because it shows America tackling a problem that nobody really thought it could handle. And it, it, did, it did that by uh, an extraordinary collection of new heroes coming to the fore to move America forward in freedom. Here we are threatened again in America, and we always will be, with very difficult political problems ahead for our economy and the world ahead of us. And here's an example from the 1950s and 1960s of how America uh, rose to just such a challenge, e even though most people thought we couldn't do it. The hardest thing to include when you're trying to do succinct stories are, this, are the small stories of people um, who are not well-known historical figures but who made a critical difference. Uh, the crippled lady with polio who was a cook in St. Augustine, Florida, uh, who came forward when everyone else was too scared to march for freedom because they'd been getting, getting beaten so badly on the streets of uh, uh, of, of St. Augustine, Florida, our oldest city in America, founded 1565, but it was very violently segregated. And Dr. King's people could not find marchers. Well, this lady, um, Georgia Reed, stood up in the kitchen and said, I will, I will lead the march um, on my crutches, but you have to take me home to change out of this uh, cooking uniform, because if I'm going to jail, I'm going in my Sunday best. Um, there are lots of people like that and, and stories that add up to the cumulative Birmingham March or Freedom Summer or the Selma March or things that some people are familiar with as great historical turning points. The moments wouldn't have happened without the smaller foot soldiers.